the White House releases a statement today about their feelings of Elon Musk revealing the internal documents about the Hunter Biden censorship story. They say that it's not healthy. Corinne Jean Pierre spoke during a press conference this afternoon from the New York Post. I'll read a little bit of this article from Washington. The White House press secretary, Corinne Jean Pierre, said Monday it was not healthy for Twitter owner Elon Musk to publish internal company files revealing Twitter censorship of the Post's 2020 reporting on Hunter Biden. What does it matter? It's his company. He can do whatever he wants. I mean, already, I already know that, you know, the, the White House is going to come after Elon. They're going to try to censor him. Obviously, they don't want all this information going out. And uh, I'll play a little bit of uh, this, her statement here in a minute, but I'll read it first. What is happening is frankly not healthy. It won't do anything to help a single American improve their lives. Yeah, it will, because now we know that free speech is actually being censored on these social media platforms. So yes, it will improve our lives. And the Democrats don't want this because they want to continue to control free speech and use it against us. She goes on to say, and you see this as interesting, you know, coincidence, and you know, it's a distraction. Jean Pierre concluded during her Monday briefing, offering a lengthy denunciation of Musk Friday's reveal of how Twitter execs decided to suppress the post damning expose. We see this as an interesting or coincidence, if I may, that he would be so haphazardly, Twitter would so haphazardly push this distraction <laughs> it's just, I can't even get through this. It's so funny. Twitter would so haphazardly push this distraction that is so full of old news. If you think about it, Jean Pierre said, brushing it off, politically motivated denial of speech protections raised by must document dumps. You know, th and then this goes back to Democrats wanting to continue to control free speech, censor conservatives, not allow damning information to go out. And you have to think this information was suppressed 20 days out from the election on 2020, 20 days out, they were censoring this information. And I said this in my last video, this is damning. This can change hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of votes. If this information was out there, the election could have totally went a different way. Donald Trump would probably be our president today. Uh, it's it just gets, it's crazy. I, I'll, I'll read a little bit more of this. She says, and at the same time, Twitter is facing very real and very serious questions about the rising volume of hate, anger, and anti-Semitism on their platform and how they are letting it happen. And again, this is something that Democrats are interjecting now because it's, Twitter is on, on a, a, a level playing field now, and this is what they're all pissed off about. That before, Twitter, they had con complete control of Twitter. It was being throttled, it was being monitored, it was being censored. Now you have someone that's coming in and centralizing it and, and being able to basically pull back the curtain like in Wizard of Oz and, and showing who the wizard truly was. And they're pissed now because now it's all on a level playing field. Now it's all going to be exposed. Now it's all going to be put out there. And I guarantee you that the White House is going to do something against Elon to, to censor him. Okay, let me play her cringy statement here so you can get it real time, so you can see what she sounded like. And I, I can't, her voice just goes right through me, but we'll, we'll try to get through this and you can hear what she said. We see this as a, a an interesting or a coincidence, if I may, that uh, uh, that he would so haphazardly, uh, Twitter would so haphazardly push this distraction. Uh, that is a that is a full of uh, old news, if you think about it. Um, and uh, at the same time, Twitter is facing very real and very serious questions uh, about the rising volume of anger, hate, and anti-Semitism on their platform, and uh, how they're letting it happen. And, uh, you know, the president said last week, more leaders need to speak out and reject this. And uh, it's a very alarming and very dangerous. 
And but our focus right now is helping the American families. I just talked about what the president is going to be doing in Arizona, talking about the Chips and Science Act, talking about how we're bringing Matt. I, I want to stop this really quick. I just want you to see how quick she flips the narrative here. I'm just going to rewind it a little bit and I'm going to I'm going to play this out. L listen how quick the narrative shifts. And but our focus right now is helping the American families. I just okay. talked about what the president is going to be doing in Arizona, talking about the Chips and Science Act, talking about how we're bringing manufacturing jobs back here to the U.S., talking about under this administration, more than 700,000 jobs uh, have been created uh, in, in manufacturing jobs to be more specific. Look, what is happening? It's it's not it's, it's frankly, it's not healthy. It won't do anything to help a single American improve their lives. All right. Enough of that. I, I can't get through her. She's she's extremely cringy and again i wanted to shed some light on this story it just came out today and i i thought it was pretty funny and she's saying that this is old news and they're trying to play this off now because they know that more information is going to be leaked out more information about all of these social media platforms now especially twitter because elon owns them that this is all going to come out that it, it has been censored the democratic party was involved with the censorship with communicating with um uh, executives in Twitter to censor very valuable information before the election in 2020. And they're, they're going to play this off. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to shrug this off. They're going to play this off. And the funny thing that I was thinking about all of this too, is even though now we know that everything is being exposed, now Democrats know, now the world will know that these tech platforms were working with Democrats to swing elections it's not going to matter. It's still not going to change Democrats' minds to open their eyes and say, hey, you know what? This is a little funny or this is a little weird that uh, that maybe I should to look a little bit more into this, look a little bit more deeper to what political party that I'm aligning myself up with. So uh, it remains to be seen. We'll keep an eye on this story for you. And if any other new information pops up, but I, I have a prediction down the road here pretty soon that that they are going to as more information gets released uh they are going to try to do something to censor twitter or something to censor elon so very interesting stuff here today and again i, I will keep an eye on this if you enjoyed the content here today in this video please make sure to go down hit the subscribe button and the bell notification always leave a comment because i'd love to hear your thoughts on this and give it a thumbs up because that helps push this video along in the algorithm. Appreciate your time and I'll be back on the next one. And always remember to keep it live and keep it loud. See you on the next one. Peace.